Hi, welcome to my first episode of Time Explorer. I'm your host, Fred Grant, and today we're going to be delving into the fascinating history of Halloween, a holiday full of spooky traditions and centuries of history. So come on, let's set our time machines and explore the origins and evolution of Halloween. Our journey begins in ancient Celtic lands over 2,000 years ago in what is now modern-day Ireland, the United Kingdom, and France. The Celts celebrated a festival known as Samhain, marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. This festival took place around November 1st and was a time when the veil between the living and the dead was believed to be at its thinnest. The Celts would light bonfires and wear costumes, even made from animal heads and skins to ward off the malevolent spirits. They also left out food offerings for wandering souls believing it would help protect them from these supernatural beings. But our journey through time doesn't stop there. In the 7th century, the Catholic Church incorporated the Celtic Samhain into the religious calendar. November 1st became All Saints Day, a day to honor the saints and martyrs. The night before October 31st was known as All Hallows' Eve, which eventually became Halloween. As Christianity spread, so did the blending of pagan and Christian traditions. Elements of Samhain, such as lighting bonfires and wearing costumes, continued to be part of the celebrations. Fast forward to the 16th and 17th centuries, and Halloween had made its way to America. However, it was primarily celebrated in colonial New England and was more focused on community gatherings, telling ghost stories, and predicting one's future through activities like apple bobbing. It wasn't until the mid-19th century when the holiday started to take on more of the spooky and playful character we associate it with today. Irish and Scottish immigrants brought their Halloween traditions, including the idea of trick-or-treating, to the United States. By the early 20th century, Halloween had become a widespread holiday in America, with people of all backgrounds joining the festivities. Trick-or-treating became a central part of the celebration, with children going door-to-door -door in costumes, collecting candy and playing pranks. During the Great Depression, Halloween became an important holiday for communities to come together and enjoy some much-needed fun during challenging times. It also gave a rise to homemade costumes and decorations, as many families couldn't afford store-bought ones. In the 1950s and 60s, Halloween continued to evolve with a focus on family-friendly activities and the commercialization of costumes and decorations. Iconic characters like witches, ghosts, and vampires became popular costume choices. Today, Halloween has become a massive industry, with Americans spending billions of dollars on candy, costumes, and decorations each year. It's a time for elaborate haunted houses, spooky movies, and creative costume contests. But it's more important to remember that at its core, Halloween is a time to connect with our past, celebrate the changing seasons, and embrace our fascination with the mysterious and otherworldly. So whether you're carving pumpkins, trick-or-treating, or simply enjoying the eerie ambiance of the season, remember that Halloween's history is a tapestry woven into ancient Celtic traditions, Christian influences, and the vibrant culture of immigrants. It's a holiday that's continued to evolve while remaining a cherished part of our cultural heritage. Well, that concludes our deep dive into the history of Halloween. I hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse into the origins of this beloved holiday. Till we meet again, stay curious, keep exploring the mysteries of the past, and happy Halloween.